Let's get into this now and see what spirit has to say in reference to this guided message messages. Immediately, I already see the first card. You guys probably can't see it. Yes, flirt. I mean, that's the dating world. A lot of you are in this dating, but there's a need to be a little lighter in your energy to enjoy what you're you're to enjoy what you're receiving. So this is your mass deception. I feel this is a constant trigger. Um, where here, I, you guys know these cards already, but. I don't have to read the bottom, but in this case, I feel it is a little useful with the message. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This is where you're not trusting, which we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I think one of your readings we had, um, which honestly I get for you a lot, Aries, is letting go of control issues. So there's a, a way of needing to control situations. And so Spirit is basically saying, trust the process. It has to unfold. The mask is that there's a constant assumption and, and projecting, but an assumption, more of an assumption, I feel, of that this person or the person you are is going to deceive you. So there's a trust issue here. And so he yeah, very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I love that I, in the bottom, I just saw attraction. So this is about understanding our energy and our thoughts. And your thoughts are really influencing how this relationship or even the dating, once those of you are in the dating market and ex trying to extend your yourself now to open yourself up, kind of contracts your your emotions or your ability to um, be in the energy of flow which is that empress energy i always speak of so um let me see because i'm feeling something here because i feel there's a soul growth i'm gonna pull these spiritual journey oracles i normally don't do this for the, the love reads but i've been doing them i think lately um, because honestly, the cosmos have been through the roof with all the transitions and especially this is eclipse. So let's see what your soul is transitioning because clearly your soul will be speaking right now, your spirit. So let's see what your soul guidance is around love here. What is the guidance for Aries? Okay. So we've got letting go, <laughs> releasing the need to control guys. I say is it right there. Releasing the need to control allows the universe to do its job. And that is exactly what I'm getting here. Aries that there's just a control. And for a while I've been feeling this energy of you guys, just not trusting the process very much trying to, um, I, I feel like you're, you're uh, some of you, this may not be all of you, some of you may be creating a narrative before it's even getting there. So that's why there's this assumption that someone's going to deceive. Um, so that's still a healing that's necessary. All right, so let's get into these main spreads now. What's the guidance here? Let's give me more for Aries. All right, that's everyone. New beginning, you know, this is new. This is going to be new. And I feel a lot of you, yeah, trusting your intuition, a lot of uncharted and the world, a lot of uncharted um, territory or just it's it's an unknown and it's discomfort. And it's three major arcanas showing up here. So that leads me to to understand, right, that you're you're embarking in emotions and vulnerability that's not comfortable. Here we have obstacles and challenges. And I just feel, again, that has to do with the mask, the assumptions, and the need to release the control, not trusting, but needing to trust, allowing yourself to be light, right? So third eye chakra, those are always the lessons. I always, you guys know, if you've been watching my reads for some time, Aries, this third eye for me is always the mirror. And then we have suffering and silence. This is the nine of swords and the waiting game, two of wands. So... To me, this Nine of Swords is the overthinking, you know, and this is what puts you into this Two of Wands energy. Two of Wands is two paths. So you're overthinking what's happening here. There's an overthinking. Um, let's get into this Obstacles and Challenge. Honestly, this is all you right here. Get more on this Obstacles and Challenge. 
than the star. This is a healing. It's this, the fact that this is an obstacle and challenge, allowing yourself to see the healing or the value in something, your challenge is to see the reward. Um, your challenge is to see that something is actually good for you. That's what the four cups in the bottom, not seeing the cup, you know, knowing that it's good for you. And that's what I'm saying. It's all you here. Give me more of the star. You got to heal this, Aries. <laughs> Magician, yeah. This is your karma. This is manifestations. Again, the attraction. We talked about the attraction. Your ability to attract the, your thoughts, right? The way your obstacle and challenge is you. Your thoughts and seeing the good in something, right? Ace of Wands. There goes that new beginning. It's passionate. You know, um, a lot of you, I do feel this is, again, it's it's a flirty energy. It's passion. It's kind of really, it truly is reviving your passion. A lot of you may have good, strong sexual chemistry with your person. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini here. But, you know, this is where, where things kind of pay off for you, but I just feel there's a resistance to see it, you know? Game around this third eye. Yeah, the Empress here. This is insecurities. You guys know I don't have to do reversals, but to me, this is marrying the Empress. Your self-worth is what's showing your standards and knowing that you've elevated the star yourself to now attract, which I just said, it's the Empress, right? You know how I mentioned you guys have to be in the state of flow. So the Empress, the mirror here that the cosmos are showing you is being in this state of flow and how you need to op be open to receiving here. And there is a restriction here because of the, the assumption of deception, right? The control, you know, like having a hard time trusting the universe. That's why I say the universe is saying, um, allow the universe to do its job. So let's see this Empress. Chariot, yeah, you know, go for it. And two of cups, I mean. Um, some of you may feel like if you're in this connection already, um, or soon to be guys, cause this could be a future person coming up. Cause a lot of you have been doing a lot of healings and this is what I'm saying. Um, some of you may feel like things are going too quickly. Things are moving too quickly. Um, which is why it's also making you, putting you in this position to like really question. And these are all valid questions here. But this is again where spirit is saying, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. If this is what you want, then... They're showing you something of what you want. Now, do you want it, right? And then it's also your ability to receive and not be in your head, again, with this Nine of Swords, about whether it's real or not. So give me more of the suffering in silence. Yeah, end it. Ten of Swords, enjoy the dating, enjoy the Three of Cups, enjoy the flirting, Knight of Wands, enjoy the fire energy, enjoy, like, it's a, there's an overthinking that maybe they are in third party situations, that this person's a Casanova, that this person um, isn't really reciprocating. I, I, I just feel this energy of just questioning it and needing to make a decision here about yourself really you know again magician energy is your obstacle like you know this is what you're attracting you it you, you like this person it's a new beginning it's passionate it's gonna be fiery it's gonna be a lot of things give me this three of cups yeah look at this nine of swords again with this three of cups the confidence strength card and the seven of wands the defense so you're constantly on guard about this a lot of you may think this person is flirting out and about doing their thing you know i don't get that that vibe 
I don't get that vibe. Give me mind is nine of wands, knight of wands spirit. Four of cups. Yeah. King of cups. Six of cups. Three of pentacles. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of a lot of questioning here. And the reason I, I have a hard time believing um, this has to do with a person actually being in a third party situation is because spirit is saying letting go. Releasing the need to control allows the universe to do its job. And then spirit is saying trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So there's a lack of, there's already a lack of trust here. And if we're in a space that we don't trust a person, so let's say this person is in a third party situation, guys, then you know, then trust your gut and then that's it, move on, right? That's it. But I, I'm because I'm seeing the nine of swords, the nine of swords, again, it's a stress. There's a there's a there's a confidence issue. Some of you can be dealing with a Leo. You have Leo here, Cancer energy, Libra energy as well. I'm going to take this deception here and I'm going to clarify it with another deck. Spirit, you want this deception. <laughs> Ace of Wands. I'm sorry. This is fiery. Guys, look at this. Queen of Wands and the Empress. This is a high sexual chemistry. I think this is where you guys are questioning it because it's so high sexual chemistry. You've got Ace of Wands twice, so that means there's a lot of sex going on here, Aries. There's just a lot of sex. For a lot of you, this is a lot of sex. And if you haven't met this person, there's going to be a lot of sex. I mean, you're Aries. You're Aries. You guys know that. So, all right, let's get to this Two of Wands. Give me around this Two of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, eight of swords, you're stuck. It's 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 only you, it's you, Aries. Or your person, guys. Remember, I'm reading these word these energies. This could be your person or this could be you. I get cross watches, whatever, but because I'm giving this area this energy to you, I'm just reading to you. But the challenge is here just being in the head. And really, I just feel like conversations and needing to open up and being really honest about where you both are mentally there's a fear and and usually when there's a fear to be open um it's because there's a fear of abandonment and not just abandonment there's a fear because i just feel like that word is always so thrown out around i just feel a lot of the times to me fears come from resistance to change and resistance to change could be your own mind and again we're back to remember how i said in the beginning of the, re the read it's about your thoughts so letting go your own belief system is going to be your fear factor your resistance um so that's really what i'm seeing here and there's just a need to open up obviously this is fresh energy for a lot of you it's a new new connection so let's see what's the blockage here Oh, that flipped. I want to see that. Abundance. <laughs> Manifesting life magic into your life. That's where the magician energy and you have to believe it. And there you go. I knew it. Beliefs. Your beliefs are keeping you stuck. That's what I'm seeing. There's a there's a resistance. That's what fears are. It's it's a resistance to change. So um let's pull some of the sacred soulmates. Usually we get more information. I feel like these this deck here. For their love reads are going to be giving me more um energetic energetic um shifts that are happening within our souls our spirits or even the person we're dealing with so let's see what's the guidance here for this connection what's going on more information for aries I love it. See, renew and adventure. And that's really a lot of you, Aries here. Very adventurous um, element sign. So a return of passions. Oh my God, yes. A return of passions and play. That's these aces. That's the flirting, uh, you know. There's 
there's excitement here. Community is healing, laughter, travel, and new things. Can re-spark your love life. I think this lesson here is to allow the renewal um, to re-spark you. Like, let it kind of ignite. Again, Ace of Wands is strong, so there is this need. That's, that's why, it, to me, this is... Um, it's it's your own assumption right that there is a mass that's too good to be true oh god even though always be always be careful right where the sex doesn't mean love you know the passion it just means that you're getting excited again and that means your your flirty energy it's like your your sexual the frequency the energetic alchemy right sexual sacred sex creates alchemy in our bod bodies which allow us to engage in more energetic play and passion about life and it, it helps that energy alchemy helps to bring more abundance but also more magic into the life which is more meaning into your life so i really just feel this is this is what's happening here so let's see the guidance Changes. A wind of change is breathing through your life. A new path is unfolding for you. Believe in yourself and stay strong because it could be a rocky time. Sit back and enjoy the ride. So clearly changes, guys. You guys are all like learning different. Uh, to me, the, the rocky stuff is the emotions, the vulnerability, the fear of the unknown, the changes. Let's get one more guidance for you, Aries. It's too many spirit what's the guidance and message for Aries there we go self-love yeah you know this is about also the self-worth I keep saying there's that's what the mirror is here with the um, the third eye and the Empress this is where our self-worth our self-love are taking care of ourselves um, our, our sexual appeal, sexuality, uh, confidence level, feeling good about ourselves, right? So I spent so long outside of my body that I've forgotten how soft and strong that she really was. She welcomes me back with open arms and reminds me that I always have a home. And some of you, you know, a lot of this um, sexual alchemy that's happening also probably with this connection is why you're feeling a little fooled because um, this also makes you feel good about yourself. And that's the tricky part here, right? And it's sad, but but some of you, it could feel a little tricky. Maybe you, some of you will say, I've been here before and I misled myself. Um, know your ability to discern. And, and, and at this point, write about it. Write about what you're really, you know, feeling, you know, be honest with yourself, right? That's, that's, that's the true test to your growth here so here we have the universe i'm living in an infinite universe and there is an infinite universe living in me yeah the, the universe is here to give its abundance we have a lot about the universe and and our soul alignment the star believing that we deserve the manifestation the attraction i mean we have it on so many different energies here you know this is literally about your thoughts and what you're attracting thoughts become things right Okay, my Aries, guys, I love you. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe.